welcome to Yotun. I think the name is actually pronounced Yotun, but I'm not quite sure, so I'm just going to pronounce it as if it was Finnish. Because, hey, why not? And it sounds kind of cool. Anyway, this is a game by Thunder Lotus Games, where you have to battle massive monsters to impress the gods and earn your way into Valhalla. It's based in Norse mythology, which is pretty cool. It's not something you see a lot in games. If you'd like to play this game for yourself, you'll find some more information on how you can do so in the description. I've played for about 20 minutes so far, just to kind of get used to the mechanics of the game. So this is a mostly blind playthrough. And yeah, let's just jump right in. Man of the Hyodin, they are waver in splundradist, Ilbrin in Vintin, O Ultus Ketlon, the Antletimin. Udmin Frois or Kulta, some are only good Utle, some you have the other Epleva, O Skipilkus. If either lose a two pissy overings, took half gags at Neat Rauner with me. If a drain deeper or deeper. I átt að gyðju sjávarins. Dauðin vætt komin til að sækja mig. Baráttu vil ég sálar minnar, myndi ekki næja til að slökkva þórstar ránar í bráð sína. Myrkri kom, en þegar ég vaknaði var ég ekki höll þangs og beina, heldur í kyrð og þögn. And here we go. So the first thing that struck me when I played this game for the first time is that the art is beautiful. It's all hand-painted, I believe. And it really shows. It's gorgeous. So yeah, we've basically died, although we're not completely dead, but we've died, and I guess we have to impress the gods so that they will let us out or, or let us into Valhalla. Which I believe is kind of like a heaven. I don't really know anything about North, Norse mythology, to be honest. But I think Valhalla is basically heaven. And the gods are bloodthirsty, apparently. They want me to prove myself by killing things. Which I can do so with my massive, massive axe. Look at this thing. Yeah, you play as uh, Thora, I think her name is. And she is a complete badass. So the game's controls and the combat is very, very simple. You can move around, you can dash, and you have only two attacks. Just a relatively quick one, and then a really big one that you have to charge up. And you can cancel out of any attack, uh, I think instantly. Like, you can do this, and then dodge. And I think that's all there is to the combat, at least in the beginning. It's very simple. The art is gorgeous. And the music, too. Yggdrasil, tenging hinna nýju heima, gullfallegur. There's quite a few times where it does that, where it pulls out to show you something really large, and it's really cool. And get these vines out of the way. I kerju borði þarf að finna eina rúm. Þegar hún hefur verið fundin, ræður þú hvort þú heldur áfram að kanna svæðið eða snýrð aftur í ginnunga gap. Yeah, so this game seems to be somewhat similar to, um, I guess, Titan Souls in a way. In the sense that you don't really fight general mobs, you basically only fight bosses. So the first, like, 10 or 20 minutes is going to be going through and collecting some stuff and kind of doing the, the introduction to the game. But trust me, in this episode later on, we will fight a boss, and it's going to be pretty freaking awesome. I fought it once. 
Um, actually, no, I fought it two times. Almost beat it the second time when I played. And it was it was pretty epic. You'll see. Okay, so th these things will poison us. The nasty clouds, obviously. And if you go near these things, though, they will give you immunity. So these are like the safe areas, these little flowers. So if I can get to it like that, I will be safe. Oh, right, I can't go that way. I don't think you can destroy these things. Nope, you can't. Okay, so there's a map, although honestly it's not hugely useful because it doesn't seem to actually show you where you are. But uh, I believe I just touched that little fiery symbol thing on the bottom of the map. I think that's what I just touched. And the game seems to be, to be uh, divided up into kind of hub areas. We got like a hub and you've got some extra things, some things you have to do, some extra things that you can do, and then you fight a boss, and then I think you go back to, like, the main hub. Oh! Poison myself. Nice. It's okay. It's not that big of a deal. There's a heal right up here. Somewhere. Ah, here it is. Okay, so ultimately I need to get inside of here, and I need to do these three things, these little things on the ground, I need to activate them to actually be able to open it. So I've already activated the one here, but I still need the two on the side, which are the little fiery symbol-y things on the top left of the map and the top right. So I need both of those. Let's go for the top left one. Let's go through the poison. Not a good time to go. Ah, dang it. Ooh, ooh, just barely made that. I outrun the cloud. Outran the cloud, rather. Okay, uh, I'm not sure if it's below me or above me. I think it's above me. It should be- yeah, here it is. The art is just gorgeous. So here's a little bonus. So I guess she extends your uh, your maximum health. Okay, so we've got one more of those things to get before we can open up that that giant rock slab. I believe we're gonna have some enemies over here. There there aren't general mobs, but there are kind of yeah. There's <laughs> there's these things. Wouldn't really call them mobs.
Oop. Damn it. They just infinitely spawn, and there's no point in killing them. You just gotta get through them as fast as possible. There we go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess they can detect what I've done. They know. Well, didn't exactly dodge those well. Okay, here we go, and we're gonna face our first enemy. I guess maybe technically this is a boss, but this isn't the boss I was talking about fighting. This one's really easy. It's just your introduction to combat. So this little dude starts out really small. But he'll grow. You'll see. Trust me, the first actual boss is not going to be anywhere near that easy. Have I mentioned that the art's really beautiful? Yes, at this point I could go back and try to look for any secrets that I missed or anything like that before leaving, but since I did get the apple from the tree, I think that's all that there was to get, and I think we're good. Yira, that is going to be our first actual boss. And it's going to be quite the fight. Okay, I believe it's right up here in just a second. So yes, this boss... Before I actually start fighting and get distracted, this boss is very lengthy. It, uh, it takes a lot of hits, and it's got many phases, so it might start off really slow and pretty predictable. But as I heard it more and more, it's, it's going to change. The fight's going to get a lot crazier. So here we go. Ready for the big reveal? I feel like I'm being watched. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> it's so epic. I love it. Alright, here we go. I've fought this person before, so I know what to do, at least for some of it. I was not able to defeat them, though. Attack patterns in the beginning are very predictable, but it will change. Ooh, I knocked her out. Nice. Safety. Come on. It's over. Du hefur áunnið þér hilli goðana. It looks so sad when it's dead. Ég heiti Þóra og ég var fætt til að berjast. Nýju storma sem um nóttum eftir fæðingu mína. Nefndi faðir minn mig eftir þrömi guðinu. Faðir minn var höfðingi þorpsins. Ásamt bróðu mínum og áhöfn þeirra sildi hann um höfin á stærðarinn á langskipi og ávann sér bæði ríkidæmi og vegsend. Mér var kjátt að berjast á unga aldri. Viska móðu minnar, hugrækki föðu mins og sögurnar á góðunum veittu mér innblástur til að verða hinn fullkomni bardamaður. Þegar ég hafði aldur til gaf faðir minn mér mína ástkæru eksi og leifti mér um borð í langskip sitt. All right, so this seems to be the main hub. Uh, I wonder if I have a choice on where I go next. Can I go to any one of these? Are some more difficult than others? 
Well, this one looks... Looks kind of maze-like. It looks pretty crazy. Maybe let's not go there. And that's obviously where I just came from. Mmm, they kind of all look crazy, to be honest. They all seem really large. They all seem way larger than the starting area. They probably are. Um, let's just go clockwise, I suppose. Seems like a reasonable thing to do. Hmm? This has its own hub, sort of? I guess I need to do the sub-areas before I can, maybe, fight the boss. Also, I think I might get special abilities at some point in the future, because when I press the, the triggers on the Xbox 360 controller that I'm using, it makes that noise. This is beautiful. I guess I just bash everything into submission? supposed to do is actually on the left side of the screen. I just realized that. Um, can I unbash them into unsubmission? Yes, good. Well, that one's actually supposed to be on. Oh! I'm not sure how a sideways M looks like a squirrel, but I'll take it. What do I need for this one? This one seems way more complicated. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please do keep zooming out. I need to see all of it. Hmm, one, two, three. Yes, yes, yes. That one, that one. That. Okay, I think I got it. So I guess this game has a bit of puzzle solving too, as well as combat. Uh, those look like they'd hurt. Did they hurt? Let's see if they hurt. Yeah, they hurt. I think there's a tree in there. Oh, crap. Seems so unpredictable. 
Come on, just push through. There we go. Use my brain for that puzzle. Well, this one's got chalky things too. Hmm. Let's see. I think I start here, right? Do I have to start there? I think so. What if I just activate this one? Does it connect? No. Whoa, what? Oh. Uh, that's not right. Those won't connect. Okay, so it's just that. Nope, that's not the right one. It's gotta be this one? No. Wait. Hmm. No, this isn't right. Does it matter in which way you activate them, or is it just that it prevents you from actually connecting ones that aren't supposed to be connected? Do you... down. There we go. Ugh, electricity things are getting close. <laughs> this would be the next one. Yes. And then this one. Okay, two ways to go. There's up, and then there's to the right. Ooh, health. Um, I don't actually need to use that yet, and I think it's only a one-time use. So I'm actually going to leave that. Let's go up. Just push through. There might be a strategy to that. I don't know. I've got a big axe. I... Come on. What, am I supposed to use my brain? Well, I guess that's what I'm doing right now. Oh, well. seem right. That does not seem right. Uh, that doesn't seem right either. One, two, three... Yeah, that doesn't seem right. I think it needs to be these two. There we go. Thor. 
Okay, so it looks like it's giving me special abilities. Looks like I can switch between them. Uh, I don't actually know how to use them, though. That's the thing. Oh, whoa. Did that just heal me? It did! Okay, so I've got a couple heals. And this, I'm guessing, is some sort of, like, electricity attack. Or, oh, it buffs me for a limited time. Oh, that is so cool! Look at that! It's like Thor is attacking with me. Oh my god. That is cool. Sweet. I had that heal ability before, too. I just didn't know how to use it. Any secrets behind you, my large friend? Well, that's going to help with boss fights. Hopefully those regenerate when I go to heal myself and stuff, too. Now let's go heal myself. If I can get to the healing... Oh, actually, wait, there's no reason to heal myself, because I just heal myself with my special abilities. But I'll do it anyway. I'm going to need it after this. Yeah, let's see if this regenerates my ability points. It does. Cool. There's a light bridge bottom right. Let's see if there's anything up here. There's something behind here. Oh my god, this place is really dangerous. Uh, what am I supposed to make? Quickly. Oh, Jesus. Holy crap, that's complicated. That is really complicated. Well, let's get started. Safe for it. Safe for now. Kind of. I'm missing a leg. I'm missing a leg. Here we go. Alright, got the body, gotta start with the neck. Ow. Wow, that did a lot of damage. I think this is the neck. Wait, this is it. There we go. bottom right? I mean, I know there's something here. But was there anything bottom... Oh, that just connects to the same place. Oh my god. Oh my god. Really? Of all places? Maybe it always goes on your head and you just have to keep moving. Oh, it does! Yeah, so you just have to keep moving. If you stay put. It seems to go where you are. Alright, hold on. I'm trying to figure out where to even start. No, zoom out! Come on, I gotta see the thing.
I seriously don't even know where to start. Um, okay, the leg. Okay, this is the leg. Let's start with the leg. Okay, there's the leg started. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. The leg, and then it goes up. Ow. Also, hold on, hold on. One, two, three, four. Three, four, that one connects. Connects here. It also connects here. This is really stressful puzzle solving. Um, where does that go? Uh, uh. Okay, I've got the leg. The leg goes up, and then it goes over here. It goes over here. And then it goes up. I've now screwed myself. Now we go up the neck. Goes left. Goes up. Please tell me that's it. Oh no. That's not right. Oh, I'm missing. I'm missing a limb. Limbs are important. Don't forget your limbs, kids. Okay, that should do it. No, wait, there's something wrong in the top right. I messed that up. I messed that up. It's really hard! I want to look at it, but I want to look at my character so that I don't get shocked. Literally. That is not right. That is not right. Once you... Um, oh, I see what's wrong. I just need to remove a couple. Okay. Don't kill me! Oh, God. I'm really close to dying. I should do it. Oh. Okay. Now, how do I get through to the bottom without dying? I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die. I think it saves my progress, though, with every puzzle solved. I'm hoping. If this game has any mercy. Please tell me I got them all. Please, 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 please. Yeah, I think so. I've got like one hit point. Please don't be any shockies. Thor, have mercy. Yeah, so it looks like you can actually get some of the runes purely through puzzle solving, no combat whatsoever. That's interesting.
And it's kind of a nice change of pace. Although it's kind of funny that you interact with the puzzles by trying to, like, bash them with your axe. <laughs> so you're still kind of doing combat with the puzzles. Let's leave. I think we're done. If I can remember the way to leave. I really don't. I think it's down here. There we go. I wonder if this one's also puzzle solving. Whoa. Beautiful. Oh my god. And I wonder. Is everything huge? Or am I just small? I think I'm small. Because look at the size of these things. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cool! I mean, I feel bad that I'm bashing them, but look at those things fly. This game is beautiful. Alright, well, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Yeah, so so far my, my kind of first or early impressions of this game, I really like it. It's gorgeous, and the soundtrack's wonderful. And the combat, just, it feels really good. It's very simple. I mean, there's, there's no more than two attacks and a dodge, and that's pretty much it, at least so far. But we've also got a couple special abilities, which I'm going to have fun using on the next boss fight. Now that I know that they exist, and now that I know how to use them. Especially this one. That's just so cool. <laughs> Look at that. Poor tree. What have I done to it? Yeah, this game is really cool so far. I really like it. So, I hope you have enjoyed it as well, and I'll be back soon.